Hello, I am the Ronin Pawn, and this is Planet Base. Welcome back to it. Everything is out of power. It's precisely the moment where I thought it would be a good idea to build another power storage unit. See, I was back and forth on it. We were peaked, but I was saying it's, you know, it's, this is... We, we're relying on wind and sunlight on a planet that does not consistently generate either of them. So let's not do power storage right now. Let's do power generation. Um, I do want the lightning rod because that does count as power generation. But instead of having extra places to store good juice, give me... Uh, is it another solar panel or is it another wind thing? I think on this planet, having seen how it operates, I think I can count on wind more than I can count on sun. Okay, things are out of power. Thank you. All right, we will get over it. Just let me build this wind turbine somewhere. Where am I going to build the wind turbine? It's got to be a big one. It's got to be a big one or it's not worth my time. Can I get you to eat a little bit of chunk of this uh, little pond away? Let's have this turbine here, okay? I'm thinking, you know, because with the wind coming in from this direction, you want to, you don't want to block it from, from the one that's behind it or... I'm pretty sure that's not how this game works, but it's, it's, we, we should have it there, is what I'm saying. We run out of medical supplies, good, because we're only facing all of the crises at once. What do we need here? Nothing else. An engineer can come out and build that. We've got two metal over here that can be moved over here. We need five total. More metal, please. More metal. Morty. Morty. P.O. for more metal. Yeah. Open the pad and buy it myself? No, we don't have money for that, Morty. You figure it out. You figure it out. That's why you get your 20%, Mort. You'll get your 20% when we get the metal, okay? Ooh, ooh, they built the lightning rod. They built the lightning rod while I was yelling at a fictitious character in my head. Morty, 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 they built the rod. Yeah, me too. If we get some lightning, then that will help in this region. And now we have coverage between here and here. Yeah, we're covering all of the areas where my colonists usually chillax in. Just don't go into the storage room or the place where the medic lives ever or don't get injured because that's also just stay generally in the work area see that's why i've done that i want them to know that the only place that it's safe to be in this colony is, w is where you can be doing work for me just one metal remains to be brought out here make me one more metal guys you've got the ore you've got the metal you've got the orders to do so i have prioritized the facilities where we turn our ore into metal turn it into metal we've got one spare in storage we've got one medical supply we've got all of the things all of the good things are happening in a goodly way power storage is critical no okay not all of the things are happening in a goodly fashion but we're getting there you know what here shut the uh shut the shut the mine down we don't need anybody mining for now and that's a little bit more power that you won't be drawing over the oh crap 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 oh all right we got a good strong wind would have been funnier if we didn't here he comes, my savior, my savior, who goes by the name Dax Francis. Thank you, Franchi. Thank you, Dax. Dax Francis, wow. That's, yeah. It's, we're definitely on a new planet. You can call yourself whatever you want. And here comes out the engineer who's gonna build this thing. And G.J. Lee, G.I. Joe, raises another wind thingy for us and then connects it and boom now we're making all oh, tons of power and we got a good wind coming in there's no way we'll ever have a problem with power ever again ever ev ev ever we may run out of spares though which we just did that's that's something that could happen I'll, I'll give you that all right let's just take a moment to review because um i'm doing excellent everybody loves it here all right, good. And meanwhile, um, power is coming in. We've got lots of places to put it now. How's power production? Yeah. Give me some good winds. Give me some good spikes now. Water storage. We don't, we don't have water storage? Did I never make a water storage? We should have water storage next. And I would love to be able to fit something just right in here. Right into the M. Because I wanted to put that there and then things would have fit over here. But I didn't because the things to build the thing that were in. And it was all in my way. But I want to be able to fit something in here. Just a little wee little small thing. And I'm not going to be able to. And we've just lost. <sighs> that is high value real estate. That is coastline. And we can't build there. Damn it. Not that a lot of people want to live on a methane lake, but there is a small, passionate market for it. I'm building the water thingamajigger right there, because I want it near to the plants that we're growing. Which, you know, that's kind of, sort of... It has to traverse the M. It wouldn't if the, if the lake line would just recede a bit. I know we're out of spares. We're always out of spares. What's new, pussycat? Whoa, 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 whoa. I swear to God, they don't mention it when they actually produce the spares. 
they, they're just, you know, they're constantly on my back telling me how bad things are here, and then when things turn good, where, where's everybody then, huh? I mean, you guys are saying it's excellent, but I have to go and look in the comments box in order to find that out. Nobody just comes up to me and says, hey, hey, Pawn, hey, come here, Pawn. Let me just let you see. You're doing a good job. You're really doing something worthwhile here. Thank you so much for building this wonderful colony. By the way, when is KSP coming back? I hear that a lot. Actually, the truth is that a lot of you do contact me and let me know. Thank you so much. You're doing something you you made my day brighter. And thank you so much for taking the time to tell me when I make your day brighter. Because that's... Why the hell else am I doing this? Okay, we are clearly overproducing food now. We have enough food to be able to manage a lot more colonists. And this is spread out a fair bit. I think it's time to... I think it's time to expand. Um, in terms of bringing in more colonists, which is also going to mean more oxygen. Yeah, see, technically we can sustain up to 19 people right now, and we have 13, but we know that in reality, uh, if too many people decide to stand in the same room and all breathe at the same time, then we would have some problems, since our only oxygen uh, generator is over here, and we are getting, uh, well, a ways away from it now. Hey, we built a water tank! All right, you guys told me about it too, see? They just didn't know how much it hurt me. Now that they know, they're willing to come over and say, Hey, hey, Pawn, we made the water tank. High five. So we've got an excess of power generation. We've got water storage now, which ostensibly doubles the amount of water that we pull up from the extractor. I think we can actually sustain another oxygen facility without it knocking us off course and destabilizing the entire colony and I think the place to put it is maybe maybe not actually pawn maybe lean it as far in this direction as you possibly can because there's just not a lot of terrain to work with here so I do want to take advantage of every square morsel that we have you know what am I gonna be able to build maybe one and a half things there and then are these ridges going to be something that I can you know build on top of or over can I get am I gonna get get through here with one hallway and then have to have a whole nother wing of colony probably something like that look at the land masses that we have to deal with here I mean I love them but um, they're not doing anything for our real estate values holy crap they built the oxygen generator rather quickly they didn't think about having the metal in order to connect it to anything, so... Great! This this will just be... When we do finally open it up, everybody's gonna get high for a couple of hours. Hey! Lightning strikes and thunder rolls in this... And blue on black, push on a shove, it don't mean much. Pee in a river, a dead man's touch. Whisper on a scream, doesn't mean a thing, it won't bring you back. Blue on black. The biologists are getting a little bit backed up here, I feel. You know, they're... They're getting around to everything, but not, you know, uh, no, it's well balanced, you know, it gets down to decent and then somebody comes around right when it hits poor and starts working in here. We could use some more biologists. Well, that's why we're building another oxygen thing so we can sustain more colonists. And since we are and we seem to have extra bioplastic, let's be ready. Let's be ready for when they come by giving them one more bed. One more, two more, but one more bed, Pawn. Don't get ahead of yourself. This is the planet that just eats you alive. You don't know what's coming, then all of a sudden everybody starts dying of starvation or s syphilis or whatever the hell they're doing. All right, the new oxygen generator has been built. We've got beds for people. We've definitely got the food in order to sustain them. I think it's finally time to open up the pad and invite us in some colonists. And I said I need more biologists. I do. That's still what's coming in. Uh, workers are good. Biologists, engineers, you know, I've got two, I'm fine with having two. Medics, I've got two, I'm fine with having two. No guards yet, we're... I don't think we're popular, we're just barely managing to eke out, you know, a non-death scenario. I think those numbers are good and balanced. <sighs> We've run out of spares, so those numbers are clearly not good and balanced. I think it's, it's, it's holding itself together. It's a much slower game on the Class S planet, you know? This whole episode, there's gonna be a lot of jump cuts to this, you know, a lot of little things because basically I'm sitting here and waiting, doing one thing and then waiting for it to get done, and then doing another thing and waiting for it to get done. So it looks like we got a worker and a biologist out of that. 
That's good. I can deal with that. One more biologist to help us keep up on the plants means I can put in more plants and one more worker means we'll be getting all of the all the metals and the ores done a little bit faster it means we won't so often be saying out of spares. I think I'm going to leave the pad open and I'm just going to have one more quick look at this. 40% workers, 40% biologists, engineer, medic, guard. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. 40, 40, 10, 10 is what I need for right here, right now. I'm going to stick with it because it seems to be working. Oh, we do have a fella occupying the I'm injured bed. We do have two medics. They should be able to put them through. But since this is kind of a down period where I'm just waiting for more colonists to come in. Oh, what was that sound? Was that the sound of more colonists coming in? Indeed it was. Who just got here? That's a person in green. That's another biologist. That's a person in blue jeans. That's a worker. And that's another biologist. Two biologists and a worker and a partridge in a pear tree. I, I... I I'm not sure, should I close it down now? How many does that make for us? A total of 18 people. Um, how many beds have I got right now? So it's, it's, it's 10 for 18. That's overkill and reasonable. I think I am gonna shut the pad down for now and see how having 18 people here manages to go through this back stock of food that we have. And since we do have new workers and there's no major priority in building right now, I think I can finally put in a second metal and bioplastic. Now here's a question, should I put in just extra metal? Because, you know, I don't go through the bioplastic as quickly, I don't need it as often. Is what you think, Pawn, but you do. Because you're gonna be making things to sell shortly. Keep it even, keep it even, that's safe. And really the only way to survive this planet is to be safe at every single step. Is there anything that I want to build in the um, factory then? Anything else? The semiconductors maybe? Not necessarily arms, but semiconductors in order to start making... nothing in particular that we need semiconductors for on this planet? I mean, robots would be nice, but not necessary at this level? I don't think so. I think I just stick with one spares workshop to keep us barely hanging on by a thread. That's how we do on the Ronin Bond channel. If we are gonna have 20 people around here, oh yeah, meal time is backing up. It's backing up. I need another table. I need another table. Get out of the way. Ah, oh, frickin' the television is in the way of me putting in a big table. Is there anywhere else I could have put that television? Doesn't really look like there's space for it. All right, I guess I'm making up another little mini table. I don't want a mini table. I want a big table. Well, if you can't have a big table, or you gotta have a mini table, then you might as well have a plant in there. That'll keep people happy. I love plants around here. I don't know what's wrong with them, but, uh, well, it's a lot of biologists is the thing. And since we started bringing in new people to eat our food, our vegetables are still up, our vitrimeat is still up, meals are, you know, took a quick dip recently. I, I'm, you look at the numbers, 54 and 32, that's what we were at before I brought them in. They haven't been here long, but... I know that we can sustain more colonists, it's just can I sustain them every other way that they need to be sustained. I guess if keeping the colonists going is the priority, then more places to eat and drink is a, is a good thing. So I'm gonna give you another drinking fountain, um, maybe another two drinking, just one more drinking fountain. Three drinking fountains is, you know, how often do you need to drink a day? I do it every, like, three minutes. Shoot. Ah. <sighs> People, I got a feeling that as stable as we are right now, it's time to actually do kind of a, a rushing expansion because the food is just stacking up there. I can sustain the colonists. I've got more biologists than I need in order to grow this stuff. It's time to grow really, really fast, which we will do next time in Planet Base. I am the Ronin Bond. Um, and for now, I'm going to put in some more plants right here because... I got people who can work on them. What do you guys like? You like mushrooms? You like radish? You like wheat? Potatoes? I'll let you know what I did next time. Pawn out!